I hope everyone had a wonderful, wonderful week. This week we are reading Parshas Vayera. And the Parsha opens up with Avram Avinu hurting after the Brismila. And of course, Pachom Hayom, in the heat of the day, Orchim come, guests come. And Avram, of course, the paragon of Kamilus Chasadim. And right after these guests leave Avram, they go to deal with Sdom. And there's a striking and direct contrast between Stom and what Chazal have to say about Stom, the Mida of Stom, and Avram Avinu. Avram, the paragon of Achnas Azorchim. Greeting guests, running from place to place, making sure they have everything they need, washing their feet, etc., etc. And then we're told about Stom, Mida Stom, is Shali Shali, Shalcha Shalcha, is there was no sense of Chesed, and that they would not tolerate, as the Psukim tell us, when Lot has his guests, they don't tolerate guests in their community, and Chazal elaborate in great, great detail about this attribute of stone, is that when guests would come in, they saw them as parasites, they didn't want anyone diminishing their great, great material wealth, and they were the exact opposite of stone. Rav Yaakov Kamenetsk in the Sefer Emes Liyako just points out something amazing, is yes, Avram had a beautiful, beautiful midah of being giving to others, of being makari of others, of being a hachnas, a machnis orchim in the most beautiful and profound way. Yet at the same time, and perhaps the strength and the amazing attribute of Avram Avinu is when you have a people, stone, that are the antithesis of his value system. Everything he stands for, they stand for the opposite. He's a giver, they are takers. He wants to improve others, they want to just worry about themselves exact opposite. And normally speaking, human nature is such that if someone's living a life that is absolutely antithetical to mine, his value systems are absolutely the opposite of mine, so I'm going to have a feeling of disdain to him. I'm going to oppose him. I'm going to be against him. I'm going to bin pol oivecha. When he falls, I'm going to be happy. If that's not Avram. Is that when Hashem wants to destroy stone, his philosophical opposition in terms of how to live life Avram, even there, is willing to stand up for them. Am I going to hide from Avram what I'm going to do to stone? And Avram goes to bat, even for his philosophical arch enemy. 50 people, maybe they're 50 tzaddikim, 45, 40, maybe 20, 10 tzaddikim. And he's willing to go so far, even for this group of people that stands for the exact opposite of what he's all about. That's an unbelievable, unbelievable message, an unbelievable midah, is that not only did Avram act with tremendous, tremendous chesed to others. But even those who lived a life that was so different than his, so opposite his, perhaps his philosophical, ideological enemies, he still, when it comes to chesed for them, he's there as well. And that is why Avram is who he is, the Bechir Ha'avos, the paragon of chesed. And that's why we strive in the best way we can to be always trying to be Mizera Avram. Have a wonderful Shabbos Kodesh.